I will go down to the table and show it to you the working of the digital to analog converter. Here you can see the circuit diagram of the digital to analog converter. You have four input resistors and they are all 10K, 20K, 40K and 80K. They have to be R, 2R, 4R and 8R. So, the R is 10K. So, 10K, 20K, 40K and 80K. You have the four inputs here V0, V1, V2 and V3 and you have the summing amplifier here. This is a feedback resistor which is also 10K in this case and we measure the output. So, in order to give the digital number here, what we have done is we have used this 10K etc. by standard values, we have used 10K here. For this, we have used two resistors, two 10K resistors in series, that is what you will see here in the circuit. For the sake of 40K, we have used 33K and a 6.8K resistor together, so in series, so that the together they form 40K. And for 80K, we have used 47K and 33K in series two resistors. So, you can also buy from the market very precise values of resistors and try them out. So, it will be much better in performance. Now, these are the resistors and to in order to give different binary inputs here, what we have done is we have constructed a clock circuit using NE555 and it is a very low frequency clock as you can see from the light light emitting diode here it is growing very very slowly. So, this is 1 hertz approximately and that is given to a counter, a binary counter 7493. So, this binary counter output will go from 0000 to 1111 in a sequence regularly every time a clock input comes and those 4 outputs 000 to 1111 is now connected to by using these wires to the input of the binary uh, here V0, V1, V2, V3 and therefore, what is going to do is it is going to keep on counting as you can see from the light emitting diodes that are connected to the output. You can see the all of them are now glowing, all of them have gone 0. Now, the, this is the first one 1, this is 2, this is 3, 1, 1, then 1, 0, 0 is 4, 1, 0, 1 is 5. So, it goes in binary sequence here. As it goes, the input will keep increasing. So, the summing amplifier output is measured using this multimeter. You can see that this voltage whenever there is a change here is also changing the output voltage here. It goes one after another. So, you can see that. Now, what we have also done is in order to what is going to happen now because it is going in a sequence this output voltage will keep increasing in a sequence up to a maximum and then again come to 0 etcetera. To see that we have actually instead of looking at the multimeter we have taken the output and connected to an oscilloscope here. So, this is an oscilloscope and the output of the summing amplifier is now connected to the oscilloscope I am going to connect it and then for increasing the speed I am going to remove the capacitor here and connect the, the small capacitor which I have here I hope. Now, here I have removed the earlier capacitor which is about 100 microfarad and replaced with a very small capacitor 0.1 microfarad. Therefore, you can see the frequency of this LED is glowing has increased enormously now you can only see the most significant bit flickering rest of the things are not flickering because they are all also they are also going in the sequence, but because they are going at a hurry, very high frequency you are not able to see them and this only you are able to see a little bit of the second digit, but you are not able to see rest of the things. So, now the changes are too fast and therefore, the output voltage will also keep increasing in a staircase type of a thing that is what you see on the oscilloscope here. You can see the voltage is increasing and this is actually on the negative side therefore, you can see it is increasing on the negative side. Okay. So, this S is the corresponding output of a digital to analog converter when you have continuous change from 000 to 111 
with you using a counter. So, you get a staircase generated here, it is a negative going staircase that is what you get and therefore, this becomes a digital to analog converter. Instead of giving this continuous input, I can connect them to specifically to 5 volts or 0 volts as a number that I want and the output will be a constant value corresponding to that at this stage. Because I am continuously changing here, the output voltage is also continuously changing. So, this is an example of an application of the summing amplifier with a digital to analog converter.